As we all eagerly wait for the release of Season 4 Part 2, one question looms large. What will happen to J.J. Maybank? The second part of the season will surely explore more about J.J.'s journey, especially after the shocking revelation about his true identity. There are predictions and rumors about J.J. flying around that could drastically change J.J.'s fate, and fans are left wondering how everything will unfold. One of the biggest predictions for Part 2 is that Chandler Groff, J.J.'s real father, will finally discover the truth about J.J. If this happens, J.J.'s life could be in serious danger. Chandler is a powerful and dangerous man who has no problem getting rid of people who stand in his way. As the true heir to the Jeanrette estate, J.J. poses a threat to Chandler's power and wealth. If Chandler finds out that J.J. is his son, he might try to eliminate him in order to secure his control over the estate. Chandler is not the kind of man to let anyone stand in his way, and he has already shown that he is willing to kill to protect his secrets. In part one, it was heavily implied that Chandler was responsible for both Wes and Larissa's deaths. If he finds out that J.J. is still alive and that he is the rightful heir to the Jeanrette estate, Chandler could take drastic action to ensure that J.J. doesn't get in his way. There are also rumors that J.J. might leave the show after season four. If these rumors are true, there is a strong possibility that J.J. could be killed off in part two. This would be a heartbreaking turn of events, but it would also make sense given the dangerous situation J.J. is in. If Chandler learns the truth about J.J., a father-son showdown could be on the horizon, and it may not end well for J.J. Many are predicting that Chandler might attempt to kill J.J. to protect his wealth and keep his secrets buried. The creators of Outer Banks have hinted that part two will be full of emotional and physical challenges for J.J. They have also talked about how J.J.'s character is being pushed to the limit with the revelation that he is actually a kook. This was a major twist in part one and it will continue to shape J.J.'s story in the upcoming episodes. J.J.'s struggle to accept or reject his kook identity will likely be one of the central storylines in part two, and it could lead to tension between him and his friends. One of the most intriguing plot twists revolves around J.J.'s real mother, Lissa. There were rumors that Lissa drowned along with her baby years ago, but in a stunning revelation, J.J. is actually that baby who survived. This raises even more questions about Lissa's fate. Some speculate that Lissa might not have died after all. There's a theory circulating that Lissa is, in fact, still alive, and is now living under the alias of Hollis. If true, this would mean that Hollis has been secretly keeping tabs on JJ from a distance, possibly to protect him. Lissa, or Hollis, might have given JJ away to protect him from someone dangerous, potentially Wes Genret. Wes had deep connections with the mysterious happenings on the Outer Banks, and he may have been a threat to Lyssa and her son. This theory suggests that Lyssa or Hollis might have faked her own death to escape Wes, and in doing so, she entrusted JJ to Luke Maybank. This would explain why Luke has always been an unreliable father figure to JJ. There's even speculation that Luke might have been paid off to pretend to be JJ's father all these years, keeping the truth about JJ's real family a secret. Adding to the mystery, a strange man with a familiar tattoo was found dead on the beach earlier in the season. The tattoo is linked to a secretive group involved in the treasure hunt, which has been one of the central plot lines of season four. The discovery of the dead man raises questions about who he was and what he knew about the treasure. Was he connected to Chandler Groff or the Jeanrette family? Could his death have something to do with JJ's newfound identity and the dangerous secrets tied to the Jeanrette estate? Another key element in part two is the ongoing treasure hunt. Fans have noticed that a mysterious amulet and an old cemetery in Charleston seem to be crucial to uncovering the treasure this season. These clues might also play a role in revealing more about JJ's true heritage. The cemetery could be connected to the Jeanrette family's past, and the amulet may hold the key to unlocking the secrets of the treasure that so many people, including JJ and his friends, are desperately searching for. In addition to the physical danger from Chandler, JJ will also have to deal with the emotional fallout of discovering his true identity. How will his friends react when they find out that JJ is actually a kook? Will they continue to support him, or will this revelation drive a wedge between them? JJ's relationships with John B. Pope and Kiara could be seriously tested in part two, as he tries to come to terms with his new identity.
The Pogues have always been a tight-knit group, but JJ's status as a kook could create tension and conflict within the group. At the same time, JJ might struggle to accept his kook heritage. Will he embrace his new identity and take on the responsibilities that come with being part of a wealthy and powerful family? Or will he reject it and continue to live as a pogue? This decision could have serious consequences for JJ's future. If he accepts his kook identity, he might gain access to the genrette fortune, but he could also become a target for those who want to control the estate. On the other hand, if JJ rejects his kook heritage, he could find himself in even more danger, as Chandler might see him as a threat that needs to be eliminated. Meanwhile, the unresolved mysteries surrounding West Genret's death, the dead man with the tattoo, and the connection between the amulet and the Charleston Cemetery will likely come to the forefront in part two. These plot developments are intricately tied to JJ's story, and they could provide more clues about his true identity and the threats he faces. The deeper JJ and his friends dive into the treasure hunt, the more dangerous their journey becomes, and JJ's connection to the Jeanrette family could put him in even greater peril. The stakes are incredibly high for JJ in part two. Not only is his life in danger, but his entire sense of self is being challenged. Will JJ survive the season, or will he fall victim to the deadly power struggles that surround the Jeanrette estate? And if he does survive, will he remain loyal to the Pogues? Or will he embrace his new identity as a kook? These are the questions that fans are eagerly waiting to see answered when Part 2 drops on Netflix. As we look ahead to Part 2, it's clear that JJ's story is far from over. The revelations about his true parentage, the threat from Chandler Groff, and the rumors about his possible departure all point to a dramatic and emotional conclusion to his storyline. Whether JJ lives or dies, his journey in Season 4 has been one of the most compelling parts of the show, and fans are anxiously waiting to see how it all plays out. What do you think about JJ's fate in Outer Banks Season 4 Part 2? Will he uncover the truth about his family and survive the curse? Or is a tragic ending in store for our favorite Pogue? We'd love to hear your theories and predictions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with all the latest Outer Banks news and theories, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll be bringing you more exclusive updates, breakdowns, and speculations about Outer Banks Season 4 Part 2 as soon as they become available.